The Democratic primary debate, Lieberman and Lamont. Ned Lamont seems just to be running against me based on my stand on one issue, Iraq. And he is distorting who I am and what I have done. But Ned, I'm not George Bush. So why don't you stop running against him and have the courage and honesty to run against me and the facts of my record. Yet even on this one issue, he has not leveled and been consistent with the people of Connecticut. Ned, and when you're a senator, you've got to make decisions. By God, if you believe we should get out of Iraq right now, have the courage of your convictions to say so. Then we can have a debate. Now we can't. I still don't know what your position is. Do you support a specific deadline for getting out of Iraq? If you want to turn Iraq over to the terrorists, follow the policy you've enunciated. But at least, this is your fifth uh, different policy on, on withdrawal, but at least you've said something, and I'm going to hold you to it. Uh, Tom and Joanne, uh, Ned's got me confused again. But I'll tell you one thing he's wrong about. Well, there you go again. Well, there you go again. There you go. You've just taken the sixth position. He's spending a lot of his own money to, to, to really disseminate a, an untruth about my record, and he did it again. So why don't you stop spreading that kind of untruth? I want Democrats to be back in the majority in Washington and elect a Democratic president in 2008. This man and his supporters will, will frustrate and defeat our hopes of doing that. I've been a Democrat all my life, and I must say I, I laugh at uh, Ned Lamont holding party loyalty up as a test of, of my candidacy. He fails that test. So he fails his own test. I'm the Democrat in this race. I believe this man can't be elected in November. Who is Ned Lamont? Well, the, the reality is that Ned Lamont has to make up his mind about who he is. But really, the point is, who is he? I think we really don't know who this man is. Who is Ned Lamont? And he's changed. Uh, he's very inconsistent. I, he used to be for free trade. Now he, he's, he's trying to curry favor with every interest group he can find. Joanne, he hasn't answered the question. I take it that he's, he's saying that he will not release his tax returns. I think that's an insult to the public's right to know. And a challenger, frankly, you don't know, who has been inconsistent, is unpredictable, and offers mostly criticism, negativism, and pessimism. over the course of the next year. Yeah. That's important. That fundamentally is a change of direction. You have an open-ended stay the course strategy. No way. I, I think it's important to look at the by our yeah. frontline presence a there. Absolutely. You know, as early as uh, September or October. That's it's exactly the American the generals who are beginning to come up with a timeline. There wasn't one other New England Democrat that supported well, did that bill. Did you know those two Chris parts that were for on, Connecticut Senator, were in there? Just let me talk. This isn't Fox News, sir. More importantly, I think we should outlaw so these earmarks. earmarks. Senator, Senator, hear me out, please. Earmarks. Excuse me, Senator. Hear me out, sir. I think they're written by lobbyists and they're wrong. Try to I think these things should the go members. through the congressional process. That's what I mean, the change. The earmarks Mr. are great Excuse for me, Connecticut. Senator, I'm sorry, our time is limited. Okay. I feel like we, we really put him in his place tonight. I did everything I wanted to do in this debate. He seemed like he was offended that he had to be there. He seemed to be on the attack against this man, Lamont. What, what was the, how is he trying to position himself in almost looked like a, a, a very Republican stance against yeah. a Democratic challenger. But he took a couple of Republican turns stylistically tonight. You know, he used the old Ronald Reagan line, there you go again, to uh, Ned Lamont at one point. And he used the strategy that George W. Bush used against John Kerry in 2004, said, you can't trust John Kerry. He takes positions all the time. Every time Lamont said something on Iraq, he'd take out the little counter and say, that's your sixth position on Iraq. That's your seventh position on Iraq. Then there was the, there you go again. Yeah. Well, okay. Checking out the, uh, the oldies but goodies. See, there you are. Now you're actually turning into Ronald Reagan. <laughs> well, listen, he was a great president in many ways. And I agree, he was tremendously aggressive. I was surprised by how aggressive he is. And if, if Joe Lieberman had been as aggressive against Dick Cheney in 2000 in the vice presidential debate as he was last night against Le Ned Lamont, he would now be in his sixth year as vice president of the United States. I mean, you recall that first debate against Cheney, he just it was he did the Rodney King approach. Can't we all get along? Uh, and instead of raising the questions about Cheney's very controversial, very 
arch conservative votes, one of the three House members to vote against Head Start, to vote against Nelson Mandela's liberation. Uh, yeah, just all these votes that, he, that Joe Lieberman just never brought up and just kind of sat mm -hmm. around and was avuncula. Last night he was anything but avuncula. Good evening, and welcome to this year's only vice presidential debates. Uh, my 85-year-old mom uh, gave me some good advice about the debate earlier today. She said, uh, sweetheart, as she is prone to call me, um, remember, be positive and know that I will love you no matter what your opponent says about you. <laughs> well, well, mom, uh, as always, that was both reassuring and wise. I am going to be positive tonight. I'm not going to indulge in negative personal attacks. I'm going to talk about the issues that I know matter to the people of this country. And uh, I am delighted to be here tonight with you, Joe. And I, too, uh, want to avoid any personal attacks. Uh, I promise uh, not to bring up your singing. <laughs> so I, pro I, uh... I promise not to sing. Okay. <laughs> Good. With all respect, so with all respect, Bernie, I have, I have great respect uh, for Dick Cheney. I, I don't uh, agree with a lot of things he said in this campaign, but I, I have great respect for him. He was a, he was a very distinguished uh, Secretary of Defense, and um, I, I, ha I don't have anything negative to say about him. Have you noticed a contradiction or hypocritical shift by your opponent on positions and issues since he was nominated? <laughs> Boy, we've been trying very hard to keep this on a high plane, uh, Bernie. Uh, um, Thanks, Bernie. <laughs> well, Bernie, I want to thank you and Joe as well. I've enjoyed the debate this evening. Thanks, Bernie. That went, went very quickly. Thank you, Bernie, and, and thanks, Dick Cheney, for a very good debate. Well, uh, what a, a, a nice puppy dog.